Hey everyone, today we are going to look at Antec A30 CPU cooler. We will first unbox the package. Later, we will see if it is really worth spending for. It is a usual box with some technical details and price. I got it for around 850 rupees in Amazon. The specification section tells you about socket compatibility. The cooler is compatible with almost all Intel and Ryzen processes. I don't think you should worry about that. Let's go ahead and open that. Inside the box, we have product documentation, the CPU cooler with fins and the copper alloy pipes. It has a sticker at the bottom, so do not forget to remove before installing it on top of your CPU. The cooler has three pin connector. Inside the box, we also have the base plate, some thermal paste and plastic screws for attaching it to the board. Let's remove the thermal paste, the connectors from the package. The base plate has holes in which you will have to insert the plastic washers. There is a notch in each hole so that the washers can properly fit. Remove the stock CPU cooler from the processor. Take a little bit of isopropyl alcohol solution and clean the thermal paste that's already sticking into the CPU. Gently clean it up. Clean the motherboard as well. Cleanliness is always better. Open the sachet that contains the thermal paste and gently pour it on top of the CPU. There are two methods to install the CPU cooler. In the first method, you can lay down the base plate and mount it on the motherboard. Attach the screws and install the CPU cooler. Ensure that you hear a click when you press the screws. Alternatively, you can attach the CPU cooler with base plate, insert it into the holes in your motherboard and tighten them with washers and screws. This method can be a little tricky because inserting the screws later can be a little bit difficult. Tweezer can be of much help here. Now, the three pin connector from your cooler should be connected to the CPU fan header in your motherboard. You might have four pin header in motherboard, but that's okay. The connector can go in only one direction, even if it is three pin. Adjust the wires so that the wires don't touch any warm parts in your motherboard. Let's power up. Our CPU cooler has been installed successfully and it works. It's pretty quiet and pumps out the heat efficiently. An LED lights up when the CPU cooler is at work. So far so good. Now 
let's find out whether the Antec A30 is really worth spending for. As you can see, I have 3DX Max rendering going on. Also, I am uploading some videos. Let's fire up the hardware monitor, 64-bit. I have an Intel Core i7-8700 processor with NVIDIA GT1030 graphics card. As you can see, all the CPU cores are almost peaking at 100% usage and the CPU temperature spikes to 100 degrees in some cores but gets down to few tens of degrees at times. It can be better. I can go for a liquid cooler pump and see better results but for 850 bucks, this is too good because with the stock CPU cooler, all the cores stick to 100 degrees and they do not come down even for a bit. So I am really happy with the cost to performance ratio. The CPU fan works quite nicely and quietly. The RPM can go up to 2000 occasionally. No thermal shutdowns and works like a charm. So the summary is thumbs up to Antec A30 if you want to have a better cooling than the stock CPU fan. If you are an avid gamer or overclock your CPU, go for a liquid CPU cooler. Thank you.